In this video, we're going to talk about a ninth bonus texture to George Frederick McKay's eight orchestral textures from his book Creative Orchestration. Today, we're going to talk about hybrid textures, where you take one of the eight textures and you pair it or match it up with one or more of the other textures. For more videos about the craft of writing music, please remember to subscribe. So this is going to be a lot shorter than some of the other videos. Instead of going to an example from the repertoire and then writing a new orchestration of the Breath of the Wild theme, I'm just going to take two different pairings of orchestrations that we've already looked at in the other videos and see how they can be matched up together. So for this first one, I've taken the chordal texture and the polyphonic texture and mash them together, put them into one single orchestration. So the only change I made here is I took away the violin one part that was playing the melody at the very top. It was in unison with the flutes. The only reason I took it out is just so you could more clearly hear the flutes and the chordal texture there, but it would work really well to have it in just as well. So if I was approaching this as a fresh orchestration and doing this for real, I might be a little more conscious of overlaps and dissonances and places where there might be clashes, but I didn't really worry about the air. I really just went to the flute part from the other part and pasted it in here. So there are a few moments where you might have a second like this C and this D here that might rub a little bit. But because the flutes and the strings are such different timbres, some of those passing rubs and some of those moments that are kind of fleeting dissonances are actually not as much of a concern. They're not going to really be bothering us because we're hearing the strings as their distinct unit. We're hearing the flutes as their distinct unit. Each one has their texture going on. And so they can be a little independent. They can be doing their own thing as long as they're generally working towards the same goal. So let's listen to how the flutes from the chordal texture match with the lower strings from the polyphonic texture. And now for the second example, I've taken the heterophonic texture, which was the simultaneous variations of the melody, and matched that up with our polythematic orchestration, where we had the main melody and the strings, and then this kind of other theme, this other line accompanying it in the trombones. So I think this works pretty well because the heterophonic texture lets you dress up, kind of recostume your main melody without adding a lot of busyness in other registers and kind of all over the place. So there's still room for the elements of the polythematic texture to cut through and be pretty well heard. So if we look at the flute, the glockenspiel, and the violin one and violin two, that's coming from the heterophonic texture of our main melody and just kind of variations of it happening at the same time. And then the lower strings and the timpani and the trombone were in our polythematic, these other themes, these other ideas happening, not quite in contrast, but also not quite in unison or in unity with our main melody either. So really what this does for us by allowing this hybrid texture of the polythematic with the heterophonic on top is to take that polythematic kind of up a level. It adds another layer of complexity, another layer of richness, and just kind of makes the whole thing a little more organic organic and more alive. Alright, so I told you this was going to be a shorter one. Those are two examples of hybrid textures where we took some of the eight orchestral textures from before, mixed and matched them, put them together, and get new results. There's just one more video left in this series where I'm going to take the orchestrations of the Breath of the Wild theme that we did in each of the different textures and just play them back one by one all together. It takes about two minutes and you can hear all of the different textures and how one theme can be presented in some very different ways. So please subscribe so you know when that one's ready to go, and then leave a comment letting me know which of the eight orchestral textures has been the most interesting to you and was maybe a new sound that you hadn't really thought of before. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.